When you choose to create a new model in ArtCam, you will be greeted with the new model dialog. You can then choose what units of measurement and change the size of your material you are working with. We will discuss resolution in a later video in a lot more depth. For the moment, I am setting this at its maximum. You can set your origin or zero position by selecting either a corner on the white box or in the center as shown. When you have finished, select OK and ArtCam will create a new model at the specified sizes. If you take a look under the model information section, it will show you the size of the model and its resolution. If you wish to have an indication on the model what size you are working in, you can turn on the rulers by selecting the view drop down menu and selecting to show rulers. This will then show the rulers in the 3D view at the edge of the model. This is because the view can be rotated and in the 2D view, they will be at the very edge. Snapping is basically a way to make your cursor stick to a defined point. For instance, the midpoint of a model area. As the cursor hovers over somewhere near the midpoint, it will change. This means that it has found the midpoint and will lock onto it, even though the cursor is not exactly on the center. If I click there, it will lock onto the midpoint and I can do the same for the other side of the model area. This can also be done using lines and circles, which we commonly call vectors. You can do this to make sure that something is touching the line or to find endpoints, centers or midpoints, for instance. There is also an option under the view dropdown within the snapping section to turn on snap hints. This will show a small black circle when within a large area of a snap point to give you some sort of idea where there may be a snap point. This works in the 3D view as well. Remember when using this, it is just a hint. If you click when you see a black circle, it will not actually snap to this point as the cursor has not changed. In order to snap, you need to get close enough for the cursor to change, which will then snap. The snap hints do exactly that. Give hints as to where the snap points are. You can also set up a grid and snap to this. You can enable this by going to the view dropdown in the snapping section, and this time selecting snap grid settings. This will then open up the dialog box where you can enter the value for the grid spacing. To turn this on or make it visible, you have to select the view dropdown again and select snap draw on or off. Now that this mode is selected, it will snap to points on the grid when you click the mouse. If you wish, you can use guidelines to help in the creation of vectors. There are a couple of ways to create guidelines. One is to right click and select to insert a guideline, or you can go to the 2D view and just drag inwards from the vertical rule or downwards from the horizontal one. Once you have done this, you can double click on the guideline and it can be edited. The position can be moved and locked to prevent accidentally moving it. Offsets can be created by selecting a relative offset at the specified distance and selecting how many copies are required. To delete any guidelines, just double click on the guideline and select delete. Guidelines can also be used as snap points, so you can use them when creating a design.